shattering glass, opening minds, crazy girl, rock in the glass room. Breaking glass, one paint at a time, crazy girl, rock in the glass room. It's Vermont Edition. I'm Mitch Wortlieb in for Jane Lindholm. For most kids in Vermont, school is now back in session, so we finish today's program by going back to the classroom ourselves with Jerry Appel. He's the founder of Rock in the Classroom, and maybe if Jerry was around teaching the members of Pink Floyd when they were kids, the anthem from another brick in the wall that we don't need no education would never have been written. That's because a few years ago, Jerry Appel recorded a couple of CDs that taught and engaged high school and college students about subjects like Manifest Destiny, Orwell's Animal Farm, and Fractions and Decimals through the power of song. Now he's shifted his attention to teaching the teachers, and Jerry joins us now from our Norwich studios. Welcome back to Vermont Edition, Jerry. Thank you, Mitch. I'm glad to be here. You're doing workshops for teachers. What is it that you're getting them to learn? Well, um, I just want to kind of start off by um, complimenting you on remembering I'm just a bill. Oh, it's one of my favorites. It and, brings and me back a to good my job. childhood. Thank you very much. And it's kind, of the, the, it's kind of the basis of what we're doing. And the idea is that, you know, you remember that song, and I don't know how long, and you don't have to tell me how long ago it was that you first heard it. But it's interesting how that song will stay in your mind all these years and all the ideas that it's based on. And um, the worksheet that you might have been doing that year about how a bill is made, you might forget the minute you get out the classroom door. And so what I'm trying to do in these workshops is um, take that process, bring it to teachers. And this is something a lot of teachers already know because um, you know we all remember songs from our youth and they stay in our minds. But somehow, we often take the more conventional assignments seriously. And so in our workshop, what I do is try to um, find out the ways that teachers are using music and art to uh, improve instruction. And we end up writing songs in the workshop um, as a role model for things that students can do back in the classroom. You know, I, I think about a current example like the show Hamilton, which is so popular, and because the songs are, are so compelling, people are learning about the life of Alexander Hamilton like they never have before. Is that one fair example? That's a great example. And I just, you know, fa- like everybody else, I've been fascinated by that show. And it, it kind of um, validates what we're doing in our work uh, because there's probably a, a large number of people that wouldn't take the time to read about Alexander Hamilton, but now, um, because of the show, they sort of do a backwards process and go into literature and books, history books about about Hamilton. The thing is, though, you have to get it right, too. I mean, you can't just uh, rhyme, you know, one word with another because it works. You've got to make sure that the history is accurate as well. I wonder if there are some subjects that are more adaptable to this approach than others. Well, at first, I my background is in social studies. So my assumption was always that social studies was very easy. But what I've been doing in the last few years is I've been going to uh, conferences, state and some national conferences of specific subjects. And the subject I thought would be the hardest is was science in some ways because um, it tends to be a more serious uh, you know, type of classification systems. Mm-hmm. And, and those science conferences I seem to have the most fun at. <laughs> really? It, yeah, yeah. They, they come up with some great songs. Well, I'll tell you another subject that some of us find intimidating, not everyone, but math would be one of them. And I, I hate to put you on the spot here, Jerry, but uh, I could use some improvement in my math skills. Could you sing a song that would help me? Well, um, let's see. I did have, um, I came with some science songs, but let me see if I can remember a math song. Um, the one we did called Fractions and Decimals. Um, let me see. This goes a fraction and a decimal in love. Who can... Know the terms they're dreaming of. Denominator finds the algorithm. And let me see. I can't remember the rest of that particular Give song. Give me a science I, one then because I okay, love that one already. Okay, science one is one I have head. with me. Yeah. Um, so we had a science. This came out of a workshop where um, we came up with a cowboy song about chromosomes. And so you try to set in your mind a, um, a background, sort of a you know one of those riding on the range songs. So this one goes, 46 chromosomes went riding out one day to try to make a brand new human being. And the weapon they carried in their genes 
was the chemical they call DNA. Yippee-yi, <laughs> yippee-hey, cowboy chromosomes are shooting DNA. Hey, yippee-yi, yippee-yay, hey, yay. it's the chemical they call DNA. Let me do another verse on that one. Please. A chromosome with a domineering gene will give you a patch of freckles on your skin. And if you find that you're losing all your hair, a recessive gene has shot you fair and square. Yippee-yi, yippee-yi, yippee-yay. Yip tune voices here. Yippee-yay. Cowboy chromosome shooting DNA. Hey, yippee-yi, yippee-yay, hey-yay. It's the chemical they call DNA. Yeah. You know, Acapella, you, okay? So. Absolutely. <laughs> you know, Jerry, you've got some pretty good pipes. Does this work whether you can sing well or not? Uh, yeah. I, and I don't know about... I, I, suffering from a little bit of laryngitis because I just did a workshop yesterday. <laughs> but yeah, you know, uh, what we do in the workshop, if I can just run through that really quickly, sure. is um, <clears throat> let's say I have 15 or 20 teachers um, in the group, and let's say it's a math conference, and I try to find teachers of a similar age level or, you know, similar subject, whether it's uh, algebra or geometry. They get into small groups of three or four, so that's your songwriting team. And to make it easy um, and to make it quick, they just do a song parody, a, a, a piggyback song, setting it to a song that everybody knows. So the first thing they do is they will come up with key terms that should be in the song. And they piece that together. And then we put it on large post-it paper. And everybody gathers around each song that we post on the wall. And we sing them together a cappella. And then we talk about what each member of the group did to contribute to the completion of the song. Wow, that's fantastic. We've got about 20, 30 seconds here. Can you give me something on history? Yeah. Um, well, let me see here. I mean, I if, can... if you can't do science again, I just want to hear you sing, Jerry. That's okay, well, let's do to. Animal Farm because I do. we do literature as well. And I brought Animal. I brought a couple of songs. I love that out book. With me. Yeah. Yeah, so what this is, this is just a narrative of, of the... Um, of the story. Have you been to the manor farm since the world turned upside down? Farmer Jones has gone away. The animals finally have a say. Since the revolution, they have equality, changing the nature of their society. And then we have a final verse. I won't go through the whole song. In the end, it's all the same. The farm resumes its former name. Remembering what once was true is nothing more than deja vu. So long to utopia and our democratic dreams. Today, the pigs are acting just like human beings. And that particular number, that particular song goes through the entire, it's like an eight-verse song that goes through the... Um, I almost added my own line. What's just, that? just remember to be glad, four legs good and two legs bad. Right. And didn't that come from the novel? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm that's saying, great. You know. All right. It, we got to go, Jerry. Thank you so much. I Mitch, really appreciate it. Thank you. Uh, it was a pleasure to be on, on again. Have you been to the manor farm since the world turned upside down? Farmer Jones has gone away, the animals finally have a say. Since the revolution, they have equality, changing the nature of their society. Old Major was a wise old pig, vision steep his dreams were...